What's going on everyone, it's Sean from All Things EV, and in this video, I want to test the efficiency of the newest Model S long range performance variant. This is the one that has the Raven suspension and the efficient front motor. This car was produced in March of 2020, and the range that Tesla states on their website that this performance variance will get is 348 miles. What I wanna do is charge this vehicle up to 100% and hop on the highway and drive east from Denver. I'm currently at the Denver Airport Supercharger on the east side of the Denver metro area. I'll hop on I-70 and head west, and if I divide the 348 miles in half, it should get me to at least the Kansas border, assuming that it maintains its efficiency, in which I can then turn back around and head the other way. Now, the only thing that makes me doubt that I will get to the Kansas border is that I will be going the speed limit, which is 75 miles an hour. I believe it does drop down in some places along I-70, but for the most part, it should be 75 miles per hour heading east. And I checked the elevation change as well because I figured that that was important. And it looks like it's about 2,000 feet elevation drop heading east. And then of course, when I turn back around and head west on I-70, it'll be 2,000 feet of elevation gain. And in terms of the weather, it's currently 83 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And the high today in Denver is supposed to be 86. It's about 4.30, almost 4.30 by the time this is finished uh, charging to 100%. Um, it may be a little bit cooler than 83 degrees. The wind is west-southwest at seven miles per hour. The humidity is 23%, so we should have some relatively good conditions. The only one that might work to the disadvantage of the vehicle's range is just it's a little bit warmer. I don't need the heat up as much, and if the cloud cover persists, then I won't need to keep that, that HVAC low. When I left my house, it was in the 90s, low 90s, and it felt really hot in the car. As you can see here, it's the glass roof. Some of that heat does make its way into the cabin. Nonetheless, we're going to charge this thing up to 100%, see how far we can get this. Will it get the 348 miles of range that uh, is the official EPA estimate that Tesla uses on their website. We're about to find out. Let's get going. Okay, the car is basically charged up. It is at 343 miles, not quite the 348 mentioned on the website, but there still is a chance that I'll get more than the 348. So cautiously optimistic there. If my previous driving here today is any indication, 266 watt hours per mile is incredibly efficient for a performance Model S with the largest battery that they offer, the 100 kilowatt hour battery. So, oh, the other thing that, that I was gonna mention is that these do have 19 inch wheels with the Aero. I don't know what Tesla calls them, but they have the, um, they're the aero hubcaps on the performance uh, wheels, or I don't know if you still call them performance wheels uh, because they're 19 inch, but nonetheless, what I wanted to mention is that they're 19 inch wheels and tires. They are the Pilot Sport 19 inch, which I didn't realize that that, that was offered, but they are on the car and hopefully it should mean that 19 inch wheels are more efficient than the 21. So let's get going.
Well, it's the following morning after the range test, and I've got to say, after reflecting back on the five-hour trip, this car is pretty impressive. The way that the car adapts to the type of road that you're on, lowering once you get on the highway, and raising slightly once you get off the highway, really makes it a more efficient Model S than previous versions. The other thing that I think contributed towards this pretty impressive range is the the permanent magnet motor in the front of the car. Tesla did an update about a year ago and 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 updated that motor to to transition the the power to move the car forward when when at a constant speed to that more efficient motor at the front of the car. Um, <laughs> It's impressive, and, and, I, and I love how this car, when you're on the highway, hunkers down at its lowest suspension setting to reduce the drag and increase the range. The, the, you know, the, the efficiency of this car through this trip at 261 watt hours per mile over 336 miles that I drove was quite impressive. And so if you take that, that number of miles driven in the trip and you add on the remaining number of miles, the 17 miles, that comes out to 353 miles. That's five miles better than what they state on their website. I'm just so impressed by the fact that this car is its biggest battery, its largest battery pack that Tesla's ever offered, the 100 kilowatt hour pack. It's got the performance motor in the rear, so it's heavier and it still is more efficient or equally efficient to my car, which is a 75 kilowatt hour pack with a only a single motor. Um, yeah, this 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 is definitely quite impressive. I love that. I love that it's it's just eking out efficiency. Now I've seen so far on people who've commented on on my tweet that I exceeded Tesla's stated range on their website. A lot of you asked about what the highway speeds were. I modulated between 65 miles per hour and 75. That mainly was due to uh, speed limit decreases. I would have kept it at 75 miles per hour, but I wanted to, as best as I possibly could, uh, stick to the stated speed limit and um, it, it definitely worked well. The other thing that may have contributed towards this efficiency maybe is the aero wheels, these new aero wheels that are on, on the Model S that they offer. It does appear like they might improve the range, although it's really hard to say because I didn't do a test without the, uh, with, with the aero wheels removed. And uh, in a moment, uh, I actually wanna see what's behind those aero wheels because I have not. And uh, it's just a, a hubcap that you can pull off. These are the 19 inch wheels. And, uh, and so that certainly had uh, uh, an impact as well. The larger wheels are less efficient and I don't think that I would have gotten the 353 miles without the 19 inch wheels. So important note there. Overall, I really like this car. Is it a car for everyone? No, it's the most expensive car that Tesla offers. They did recently do a price drop on this performance Model S, so it might fit some of you that have number one, the ability to afford uh, the most expensive vehicle that Tesla offers right now uh, for the Model S, the, the most expensive variant that Tesla offers for the Model S. And number two, find value in having this performance upgrade. It's nice to have, it's nice to accelerate, um, but you're not gonna use this acceleration too often, this ludicrous acceleration, plus the non-performance version of this this car is is pretty quick. This This car is going to fit a small subset of people, but the one thing that I was really interested in knowing is, is this as efficient as as what Tesla says on their website? I've seen some people say that Tesla's are over, Tesla overstates the range, but in my experience with this test, um, the range exceeded Tesla's stated range on the website. 
The next video that I'm gonna do here, which is why I'm in my car charging, is I wanna test out this Cheetah mode, this performance mode that Tesla just pushed out via software update. I wanna see how it works, I wanna see what it does, I'd love to see the stance and uh, before it launches, and of course, it's been a little while since I've felt that ludicrous acceleration. So that's gonna be one of the next videos that you'll see on this channel. Subscribe, stay tuned, and I'll talk with everyone on the next video.